uh, that you want to discuss through our call, just raise your hands and we can go through it. But today, what we're going to do is going to discuss the new feature. It's not actually new, but it's actually currently enhanced. It's on the um, Technetics online store. So if you guys are using like Shopify or any other e-commerce site to sell your products, if you haven't already started and you're thinking to like maybe like go to a different like platform to sell your products, you can actually now do it inside Technetics. There's actually some pros and cons about it, but I'll walk you through uh, all of those stuff. But now I'll just share my screen so I can show you how this works. So yeah, let me just hide my floating controls. Uh, one sec, hide floating controls. Okay, and I'll minimize our faces. Okay, so this is not a platform that we want. Should be this. Okay, gotcha. So currently in my Facebook group. Uh, let me just head over to Techmatics. Okay, gotcha. So uh, since we're doing, um, we're going to do online stores, uh, maybe help you set up first the products that you're going to add in your online store. So your online store could be maybe anything physical, like anything like physical like items, or it could be like digital products that you're going to compile into a single online store. So it really depends on your uh, like setup or going to depends on uh, your products that you're selling. But the cons currently with having um like physical products uh added inside Technetics and selling through Technetics is we actually don't have the option to pick any courier or any like you know the de uh delivery options or like you know the shipping options stuff like that we can collect the shipping address but we don't have any uh like link or integration with uh delivery guys or like couriers and stuff like those. So that's the cons with having your physical products listed inside Technetics. But it will, maybe it might work if you guys are doing maybe manual like shipping and stuff like that. So you still can use the online store for Technetics. So for, um, what do you call this? And for the online or digital products, I actually have a sample from our website. So this is how our um, online store for our services inside Technetics looks like. So all of these products are built inside Technetics. So this is basically how the um, online store looks like in Technetics. So these are all the individual products that we added. And then you can have like the next step or something like that. And then when you click on the uh, like the actual like product itself, it will show you the description of the product. If it's physical, you can definitely add more photos in it. But since this service, we just added a single like particular like thumbnail in it. So, and then you can choose to add it to cart. And then you can either view your cart or you can continue shopping and add more items inside your cart. Or for example, in myself, I'll just maybe click on view cart because I need to see what are the products I added. And it, it, it will give you the total uh, amount of the product that you've added to your cart. You can either maybe just go back to the product list and add more items into your cart. Or you can just click on proceed to checkout. And you can check out this product with your shipping details here, with your emails and stuff like that. So this is basically how the e-commerce side inside Technetics works. So do you guys have any questions with that before we can dive into the tutorial? I think you're all good. So just give me one sec while I get this thing up. Okay, got it. So to set up your online store, again, it could be like any digital product or it could be like physical product depending on your products or depending on how you're going to set it up. So the first, first thing that you need to do is you need to head over to your payments and you need to go to products and click on products. So this is one thing that you need to check first before doing this. Make sure that you have your Stripe integrated inside your account because basically Stripe will collect all the payments uh, from those products they purchase uh, on your account and automatically those payments will go to Stripe and will go to your bank. So Techmatics doesn't hold any of your like uh, any of the money that will go through your checkouts, your sales page, stuff like that. Automatically those revenues will go to Stripe. So yeah. So yeah. So let's start creating your product. If your product is on Stripe, you can just actually import it from Stripe. 
you can definitely do that. Or for example, if your product is, if you have like bulk product or multiple products, you can just import the CSV file and just like uh import those like products. So you don't have to like create it manually. I actually don't have a sample to do that. Maybe I'll create a separate training for that. But what we're going to do now is we'll create or uh, we'll create a product individually. So what I'm going to do is I'll click on create product. Um, I'll just check in the chat if you guys have any questions. So just put in your uh, question to the Zoom chat so we can jump on it. Yeah. So this is how the product builder look like. The only important step that you need to do is you need to have this include to online store toggle on inside your products. And that way, automatically, whatever product you created will automatically go to your online store. It will be uh, listed as product list. Don't worry, I'll show you how to do that in a bit. But what uh, if, when you're creating a product, don't forget to turn on the include to online store so that we can have it automatically added into the online store. And then same things for the title, just put in your title, for example, this would be around uh, like tarot card, let's just for example, all the stuff, for example, uh, Majestic uh, Magic Tarot card. I'm just thinking of something random. And then for the description, you can definitely put a description. And then for the video, you can upload a thumbnail for the product that you got. It will be great if it's your own, like, you know, own creative or own product. But what you can also do, for example, if you don't have any thumbnails created yet, or you don't have any, like, creatives for the product, is you can just click on Upload File. Automatically, if you upload a file, it will go through your media file or media library. So you can upload something from your computer. You can just click Upload File and upload it from your computer. Or what you can also do is you can maybe choose any of the media coming from the sources. It could be covered from a splash. And let's say for example, let's look for a tarot card here. And it will give you like free uh like free images that you can use for your products. This would also work with I think I think emails or like website link images. But I don't think this works with courses. But let's say for example I'll choose this one. Well, it's not supported, but that's actually added. So that would be fine. And then what you're going to do is you need to scroll down. For the product collection, these are actually the categories for the products. As of the moment, I added this category just to test it. So I'll just add it in here. But you'll definitely have your own category. So it could be, for example, if you're selling physical products, this will be about for tire cards. This one is for crystals. This one is for like, uh, what do you call this? notebooks, stationery, and stuff like that. So you have the option to create your own product collection. So in my uh, on my end, I just have one at the moment. So I'll just leave that as is. And you can also add individual tags for the products itself. So currently, I added manually this GST tax for 10%. But you have the option to create a new tax by clicking on that button. So yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'll just maybe go back because I need to fully set up the product. Oh, I did not save it. Sorry. Hang on. Let me just redo it again. Uh, one sec. One sec. Uh, sorry. I forgot to save it. I should have saved it first. So if you're doing it, save it first before you're going to like add your tax here. So, yeah. so product collection, I'll put it in the course bundle. And then for the tax, you can just click on that one and then you can add your like personal tax or like the tax required for your products. In our, uh, in our end, I'll just use this GST one. And then for additional option, this is for the statement descriptor. This is for Stripe, but this is actually not necessary. So yeah. Uh, so I have a question with Trisha. Did you say this could be digital product as well? Yes, Trisha. So for example, this is how the product listed in Techmatics. These are actually services, but instead of having like maybe a service linked in here, you can definitely have your own digital product. It could be a book, it could be maybe like ebooks, it could be worksheets or whatever. So you have the option to like choose whatever product you're going to sell in your online store. So can I just yeah. ask you a quick question? Sorry. Yeah, sure. Okay, so what's the difference between, because I currently have a, um, 
it's like a planner that I have for sale. It's a low ticket. Um, what like, and I just have it as an offer in Techmatics now. So like, what's the difference between having it as an offer in there, but and then having the online store? Yeah, for the offer because we don't have the online store because I think we just have it like last month. But if you already have your product on online store, Trisha, you can definitely just leave it in there. Uh, especially if you have all, all the automations like file up and stuff like that. But the cons, uh, I mean, the pros of having your product listed into like, uh, what do you call this, the online store, is you can actually compile all, all of your product into a single page. So instead of like maybe like telling people like, hey, uh, do you want to buy this or stuff like that or adding like manually like sections in your website you can just add them into your online store so people can just go to your uh, for example shop or store and they will have all the list of the products that you sell and they can just pick out of the product add it to cart and then like like maybe purchase multiple products from your store and then and then just basically buy your products from there so okay so okay so then say if I have, because I'm putting my website together now, okay. so I can just have an online store with, because I have a couple of courses that are already pre-recorded um, and ready to go. So I would have like my courses and then like my planner in the, my online store. So I wouldn't need like a courses page. Yeah. You can just uh, have it in your online store. Oh, but it still cool. depends on your preference though. So right. if you prefer right. to put it that way, yeah, because essentially, for example, moving forward, maybe in the future you will compile or you will like, you know, create more products inside your Techmatics account. Uh, you can just compile it in a single shop or a single store. So people can just browse through your store and pick whatever they like to purchase. So, yeah. Wow. Cool. Thank you. Got it. So, yeah. And then let's just go back to the product setup that we got. Yep. So we're done with the uh, basic product setup. For the prices, you have the option to put the prices to recurring or one time. Since this is a physical product, I'm just maybe having a one time uh like collections. So this would be maybe for example one hundred twenty dollars. And then for compare price, I'm actually not using this one, but you guys can test the compare price. But for now, I'll just leave that as is. And then the new addition for our products is we can actually now track the inventory, so you can set a specific stocks or like limits on how many purchases you can get for this product. So for example, for this product itself, I only have 100 uh, like currently physical stocks. So I'll just put it in there for the quantity. And then you also have the option to continue uh, continue selling, even though you already have sell all of those 100, uh, 100 tarot cards or physical products from your store. But if you think that your uh, your stock or your quantity is very limited, you can just turn that off. Just just leave that in there. But if you want to continue selling, even though you run out of stock, you can definitely turn that on. So yeah, any questions so far? Anything that you want to maybe raise, something like that? I think we're good. Yeah, um, I, I will ask that. My question I just put in chat was, what is the category page look like what does the page look like yeah. when you have categories set up uh we can actually test it currently carol uh i'll maybe create uh, a separate tutorial with that and send it to the uh to the email after we got this recording converted because as of the moment the sub account that i'm actually doing or using is that actually a live sub account or account inside techmatics yeah. Yeah. so i can test it i'll do something on techmatics but i have to give a heads up to our team first because I might like you know uh I might create some mess with like a categories and stuff like that. So I create a separate tutorial for that and put it on our Facebook page or maybe send it through an email to you guys who attended the call. So can I, yeah. ask, can I ask another one or yeah sure. Um I've got a I've got physical products on my WordPress. Yes. With, yeah. And I drop ship them so I don't have to set up the postage but the WordPress website has a plugin that works out whether they need a surcharge if they're in a remote location. Mm. So yeah. if I put those products into the Techmatics website instead of my WordPress website, would Techmatics be able to match that? Yeah, track the fees and the delivery, right? No, so... no, it's not, it's not about tracking. It's just deciding at the start because they get free delivery if, if, if they're, they're from the reuse, yeah. But if they're, you know, in the middle of the desert. Yeah. 
or, uh, or on the tip of the top peninsula, mm -hmm. uh, they have to get charged and it's variable and it's really complex. So I, I'm just, I, I don't think this is really an option for me. I'm trying to work it out. Yeah, got it. So yeah, I, I think since we already have this feature, like basically you're like last month, it's still currently under development, um, Carol. So yeah. from time to time, our dev actually updates or enhance the features that we got in there. Um, Actually, like maybe like just yesterday when I'm testing out the session for the day or like practicing what we're going to discuss today, we actually don't have the collection tab or the categories tab onto our shopping or to our online store. They just added it in today. So... <laughs> Um, yeah. it's still currently a development. Uh, maybe in the following weeks, you can definitely see like a lot of changes with our products and online store. So I'll see maybe on our end, Carol, if that's something that's been worked on on the back end for uh from our dad. Yeah, thank you. So, no problem. So yeah, so yeah, so that's a concern for physical products. Uh, for the digital products, you don't have to worry about it since you don't. Uh, you will do like shipping and deliveries and stuff like that. So yeah, and then lastly, we have variety or variants in here We could, where you can add variants for your products. So for example, it could be via colors, it could be via size, it could be via type and stuff like that. So for example, uh, the option name for this one would be type and I'll have like three options. First is the premium, second is the basic, uh, basic, and the other one could be, uh, let me just think of the term maybe a uh, starter and then I can just click on done and I can definitely track in the inventory for uh, like each variety for example uh, for the premium I only have for example like uh, 10 stocks like on hand and for the others I have 80 and then for the sorry for the basics I only have 10 each year. so you have the option to set your uh, like stocks or inventory for each of the variety of the products that you got. So basically what this tells you is, for example, the tarot card, the tarot card has three types. The one, the, the first tarot card is the premium tarot card, second is the basic, and the third one is the starter. And these are all the uh, available quantity for the product. So yeah, so that's basically it for the variants. I'll just save this product so we can move forward. Any uh, questions from that? Sorry, just need to have some water break. Do you guys all good? You don't have any questions about it? Okay, since we're good, I'll just save it. And what we're going to do next is you need to head over to websites and funnels. Uh, hang on. Sorry, let me just refresh my page. Oh, sorry, I think it's taking some time to load. Let me just see if you guys have any questions, just put it on a Zoom chat. Uh... Let's see if I have it. Oh, ah, maybe I can just use this one. So for the online store option, this is actually only available for the pro plan because for online store, we can only add the online store on websites. And the starter plan does not have a website like feature, right? So if you guys want to maybe uh like what do you call this? Um uh, want to switch over to Pro Plan, you can just email us at support techmatics.com, especially if you think that the online store is a great addition to your business. Um, we can just maybe uh upgrade your plan into your pro plan so you will now have access to websites and to create your online store. But for those people who are currently on a starter plan. We can still like sell your products through funnels, but the setup could be like a uh, type of manual. Just the same thing on how we're doing to uh, create your like course landing page or course like front story, something. So yeah. So first thing that you need to do, if you already have your website, just skip this step. But what I'm going to do now is I'll just click on new website because I need to find a template that I want to use as my website. So I'll just click on from templates, continue. 
And in here, I'll look for any templates that I like. Maybe I'll use this one because this looks like something uh, organic. So yeah, so I will use this uh, website template for my basically website and online store. So what I'm going to do is I'll just click on continue. And then after that, that website template has already been loaded to my account. So what I'm going to do now is I need to enable or turn on the online store feature in my, uh, on my website template. So to do that, you need to click on this plus icon on the left-hand side, go to store, and just click on add to site. So basically what this store page do is it will automatically create or add five pages into your existing website uh, template. So for example, for this uh, website, you have like five pages in there for the home page, for the about page, services, contact us, and link in bio. It will add an additional five pages for your product list, for your product details, for, uh, for your shopping cart, for your checkout, or for the thank you page. So automatically, this online store, you don't have to build everything from scratch with everything manually because it will just basically uh, like add everything automatically into your account. So yeah, so let's just wait for this to load. Um, yeah, so we now have our product list in here. It's actually not working on my end. It's because it's a dummy account, but we, you can definitely, if you're going to go to your pages, you can all see that you have this additional five pages for storage page. We have product list, we have product details, we have cards, check out, thank you. So when you go to product details, this is how it looks like. Just wait for that to load. Yeah. So this is how it looks like. So you definitely have the option to take out this uh, header on top and just replace it with your own menu. And since you already have your online store, automatically the system will automatically add a shopping cart like icon on top of your like navigation menu. So for example, I want to take out this like maybe a uh, section right here and I'll add a uh, my global section for my header. What I'm going to do is I'll just drag the header that I added as the global section and add it here. So I can customize my online store page. You can do the same thing with a footer and the rest of like the pages. So yeah, so that's basically how you're going to set up your online store. Don't worry about the preview like this chair right here or whatever this is. This is just placeholder, so this is just thumbnails. Automatically, if you have your product listed and added to the online store, this product will be replaced into the actual like product you have on your product page inside TechMatics. So I'll see if you can preview this one because I'm not sure. Yeah, this happens a lot to me because this is a dummy account. But that's basically how you're going to uh, create your online store inside your website. So again, this feature is only available on websites. So it means this feature is only available for pro plan users. So if you guys don't have the uh, websites you want to upgrade, just email us at supporttechmatics.com so we can take care of that for you. So yeah, so that's basically it for the online store. You don't have to manually add any products in because it will be done automatically on the back end. Once you got your product listed into payments and their products, or and also you have installed your online store inside your websites. So yeah, any questions so far? Any maybe stuff that you want to uh ask and stuff like that. Yeah. So I think we're all good. So if you guys have any questions about it, just let me know. You can just email me. Uh so we can help you set up your online store. And since I can't actually like put the online store on live on this like sub account, I'll maybe should just switch over to our live account. So I'll just head over to websites and funnels. Websites. Uh I'll just go here. Which one is that? Uh this one. Yeah. So when I scroll down here. This is actually, sorry, there's a lot of pages in there. This is, where's our online store? Yeah, here we go. So this is the online store being added to our Technetics website. So I'm going to preview it. Uh, 
this is actually how it will look like. So this is how your online store will look like on live. Sorry, I could do a preview on our tech, uh, on our artist sub account. But yeah, so this is how it looks like. You can just click on the individual product. And again, this could be a physical product or this could be a digital product. Then you can just click on add to cart. And then you can see all the items you added to cart. You can definitely just view your cart and check out from here. Or you can just continue shopping and add more items into your cart. So you can like purchase those items from the online store. So yeah, I think that would, uh, that's actually it for our uh, like online store like side of topic. Do you guys have any questions for me or anything particular with the online store or any other thing about your tech ministry? Not so far. I put a question in there for for Febby. It relates to Sarah Cardina, um, not Techmatic. So Febby, if you can get back to me by email, that'd be great. Okay, no problem. Also yeah, follow Febby. Okay, got it. Yeah, sorry guys. I think I will need to cut off our session for the day. Sorry, that will be a quick because I'm quite sick. So I'll just maybe create a separate like tutorial fully for like the tech toolbox that you need to figure out what's happening on the back end because I can click this stripe in there. So yeah, so I'll just uh, create a different uh, tutorial aside from this one for an online store. I'll have a step-by-step -step so you guys can have a thorough understanding on how it works. So yeah, so if you don't, uh, yeah, you have any questions, so Andrea? So not stay well. Yeah, no problem. Thank you so much, Andrea. See so you guys, if you have any questions, just email me at supportedtechnetics.com. Or you can also post a question and tag me in and there's whole uh on the Facebook group. So yeah. Thank you thank so you. much for jumping on with me, guys. Sorry for keeping it short. So yeah. See you. Bye-bye.